Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to send OTP using Spring Boot application for authentication. In this video, I will guide you and we will build from a scratch to final project or final application. So before going to the further, I wanted to show you how our application will look like at the end. So this is the application and here from here you can log in as an admin or as a user. I have given two options you can log in as the admin as well as the user. So right now I am logging as an admin. Once I click on sign in I will get the dashboard URL. So once you get this you get the two options either you click on the admin screen or if you go to the user screen then click on the user screen. And since you log in as an admin, you can't go to the user screen. You will get access denied option. So now go to the back and if I click on the admin screen, I will go to the uh, admin screen now. You can see the URL admin. And here I have provided an option OTP. Once you click on the OTP, you will receive the OTP in the email address. So in this uh, tutorial, uh, we will build the Spring Boot application from where we can send the OTP to the email address and once we receive the OTP then we will validate in the uh, Spring Boot application that email address that OTP is correct or not. Before moving forward I wanted to show you the email address or the inbox at that email. See this is the inbox. Currently we don't have any uh, inbox or the mail. So once I click the one OTP button I will receive the OTP. So see it is uh, waiting uh, yeah we it is sent the OTP now let's check the email see can you see it we received the OTP here and it's saying hi admin your OTP number is this one so you can see it is received at 6 21 pm right now and this the system time is also 18 21 means 6 21 pm so that you can know this is not a wrong this is the correct okay all right so what I am going to do, I will copy it and I will paste it here. So wait, before pasting the valid one, let's try and type some invalid OTP. If I click on the submit and click on OK, can you see this is the alert message enter OTP is not valid. Please retry. So let's input the valid email and the valid OTP. What is this? Just copy it and paste it here. Click on submit, click on OK. Can you see we got enter OP OTP is valid. So this is our application which we are going to build up. So this is how our application will work. I wanted to show you the flow diagram uh, of our application, how it works. So see, this is our flow diagram. Once you log in as the admin, you will redirect to dashboard page. Okay, once you redirect it there, you will get a two option admin screen or the user screen. If you click on the admin screen, you will redirect to admin page, and from there, you can click on the OTP to receive the OTP on your email address. So, once you receive the OTP, just enter the OTP here and click on submit. That enter OTP is valid. So, can you see this? This is the important part how this thing is validating, how, how from the Gmail that our application get to know that this OTP number and this number is same. And I already show you if we enter the wrong number then it is showing a enter OTP is invalid or not correct. Now let's see how it is going to work on the code level. We will write each and every line of code and I, I will explain you every line of code. So don't worry. So here I have written the article where I mention all the steps which is required to build this application from a scratch. If you want, you can refer to this article. I will give the link in the description. 